Hello, my name is Nicole Carson Bonilla and I'm a portrait photographer. I've been a Canon shooter since my beginning and I've proudly owned the Mark III, the Mark IV, and the Canon EOS R. And I was super excited to hear about the new Canon R5. So I decided to rent it for the weekend and give it a test drive and see how it would perform next to my Canon EOS R. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to my fine art ballet photo shoot as I photograph with both the Canon EOS R and the Canon EOS R5. Then I'll show you my comparison of the edited portraits and I'll also share with you my conclusion about which camera I prefer to use for my studio portraits. But before we go any further, please do me a quick favor and click the like and subscribe buttons below. I styled my ballerina Alexandria in a gold colored corset I made from a round tablecloth that I had purchased from my local thrift store Goodwill. I combined it with a throw skirt I made from sheer curtains and gold colored bed sheets I also purchased from Goodwill. I simply hot glued some artificial flowers to metal alligator clips to use in her hair. I converted the guest suite of my home to my portrait studio. The room is 11 by 15 feet which isn't quite deep enough for photographing dancers. So I converted my living room into a temporary photo studio with a portable backdrop stand. As my key light, I used a Canon Speedlight 600EX inside a Westcott Apollo softbox. I made a cover for the softbox out of two layers of white fabric cut from a bed sheet. I point the flash into the softbox, which provides a soft, beautiful light. I have a second Speedlight pointed at the ceiling beside where I stand when shooting. This light bounces off the white ceiling and provides a subtle amount of fill light to the front of the model. My model Alexandria is an amazing athlete and ballerina and I love working with her. For the ease of comparison shots, I positioned her seated on this vintage saddle bench and spread the skirt out around her. I used my EF 50mm 1.2 lens on my Canon EOS R. I turned on the auto eye focus, which is one of my favorite features of the EOS line of cameras. It means I can use the tilt-out LCD screen and no longer have to look through the camera's viewfinder next to my face during the photo shoot. This really helps reduce eye fatigue and makes it much easier to shoot at higher and lower angles. I used the RF 24-105 lens which came with the rental of the R5. I set the focal length to 50mm to match my other lens and was also shooting at f4. While shooting, I noticed the shutter button was very responsive and actually a little quicker than my EOS R. This was very helpful when capturing action poses. The controls and screens between the two cameras were very similar to me and I was easily able to navigate both. I like to import my photos into Exposure X6 for culling and organizing. I use the color tags to identify my favorites. Once I've selected my favorites, I export a JPEG copy to Photoshop for editing. Once I'm done editing in Photoshop, I go back into Exposure and I have my favorite combination of alien skins that I apply to my portrait. In terms of print size, the portrait taken with the R5 can be printed at roughly 21 inches by 17 inches at 300 dots per inch. The portrait taken with the EOS R can be printed at roughly 17 inches by 14 inches at 300 dots per inch. Here is a comparison of the portraits taken with both cameras side by side in actual size so you can see the relationship between having 30 and 45 megapixels. Shooting with 45 megapixels is very useful if you print enlargements of your portraits. For this comparison, I exported both portraits as 8x10s at 300 dots per inch, ready to be printed. Here is what the faces look like up close. I noticed the portrait taken with the R5 is sharper, smoother, and has more color information in the pixels than the portrait taken with the EOS R. Here is a comparison of the raw files for both portraits. I cropped into just their eyes to view the details. The difference between the two images is less noticeable than the last comparison, but the R5 portrait has slightly more sharpness and detail that is noticeable in the eyeball and eyelashes. Here are a few more portraits from my photo shoot with Alexandria taken with the R5. So bottom line, I was very impressed with the Canon R5 as a studio camera and I love having all those extra pixels to work with. And similar to my Canon EOS R, I love the tilt-out screen as well as the auto eye focus. If you currently have like a Mark III or Mark IV and you're wanting to upgrade to the mirrorless cameras, then I think the R5 is a fantastic choice. But if you currently own an EOS R and you don't print much larger than about a 16 by 20, then I think the nearly $4,000 price tag of the R5 
may not be worth the upgrade for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this video, please don't leave without clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. Then I can keep taking you behind the scenes with me on my creative photo shoots.